Hey guys, Andy's here, and today I want to talk about Pump It Up, more specifically, Hand Pump. If you don't know what Hand Pump is, it's essentially playing Pump It Up with your hands via buttons or a keyboard. You might have seen some Hand Pump gameplay before with the Beat On cabinets, and there are also some players in the community that have made their own Hand Pump keypads. But, there's a problem. Hand Pump isn't exactly the most accessible. What do I mean by that? Well, we had the Pump It Up mobile app, but the server shut down for it on June 2022 making that option gone. Well, as I mentioned before, there are the beat on cabs, so just go outside to your local arcade and... Oh... Uh, yeah... Uh, you can make your own device. If you're smart. Alright, alright, what about the Korean beat on controls? Yeah, yeah, um... Well, it works great for Pump, as it's designed with the original beat on controllers in mind, but I'm stingy as hell. Plus, I said accessible, this controller costs a lot, and not all players can afford it. Okay, uh, I guess... I guess I can use keyboard with Step Prime, that's fine. And after testing it out, it's safe to say, hand pump on keyboard is perfectly viable. Two fingers over S, E, S, Z, C, crossovers, twists, it all carries over from your feet. Oh, I love this song. Let's play the doubles chart in Triple S it. Alright, uh, no. Personally for me, keyboard is not the best solution for hand pump. Sure, it may work well for singles, but for doubles, it's a nightmare. When I move my fingers across to different pads, my fingers never end up on the correct keys. This is due to the fact how the keyboard is not designed with all the rows being placed in the same linear position. It drifts to the right. And trust me, I tried for days but the results were clear. Doubles did not translate well on keyboard for me. Although, I know many hand pump players who were perfectly fine using keyboard, but the muscle memory just felt too awkward for me. Introducing the Spider Island keypad. It features mechanical switches for blacks, blues, browns, reds, and whites. The switch vendor can be Gateron, Cherry, or Temu's. If you don't know mechanical keyboard stuff, a quick rundown is that browns have a tactile bump, blues are clickies, and reds and browns are linears. Blacks are much heavier compared to reds. These are the most traditional mechanical switches. Uh, I don't know what whites are. And for vendor, Otemu's are usually known as the typical budget switches. Cherries are the original founders of mechanical switches, and Gaterons are, uh, the smoother cherry, basically? Personally, I recommend getting the Gateron Reds. I like the tactile switches, but for hand pump, linears are just so much better when it comes to speed. And Gaterons are just generally less scratcher than cherries. The keypad also features customizable software, lighting, and key mapping. This is such a great option for hand pump, and it's under $40, a third of the cost of the Beat On controller. No, I'm not sponsored to say this, I wish. I've been playing on the keypad for hand pump for the past several weeks, and I have to say, it's been a great experience. The switches feel great, no double tapping, the keypad doesn't slide around while playing thanks to the rubber feet included with the keypad, and best of all, the keypad layout. All of the keys are perfectly aligned vertically and horizontally. The stiff doubles experience I felt with keyboard, gone. Singles and doubles are super fun with this pad, and I can't recommend it enough. Shoutouts to fellow pump player, Pagunu, as they were the player that introduced me to this keypad. I will say though, setting up this keypad initially was a pain. For a while, the keypad just didn't work on my computer. I couldn't find the software listed anywhere on their product page, and the software just didn't seem to work well at all. But I think this was more of an issue on my end rather than the keypad, as once I turned on the computer with the keypad prior connected before booting it up, it fixed the issue. It's likely these issues won't happen to you, but I like complaining, so I'm mentioning it anyways. And last, I'll mention a few other things for the keypad. I did customize the keypad quite a bit. The keycaps are arranged in a more comfortable way for pump play. I took off all the other keycaps that weren't used for gameplay, and the zero key was keybind to escape to quit the song easily. I'll leave links in the description for the beat on controller, Spider Island keypad, and links for the software and a profile for it, that way you can easily have it ready for Step Prime. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this pump video, hopefully this brings out more hand pump players to the scene, and feel free to join our Pump It Up community at Pump United. Thanks for watching. Oh, so we hit 200 subscribers. Let's go!